Hello everyone, my name's Michael Sherry. Today I'm featuring a brand new Thor Chateau. This is the 31E, which is the full slide bunkhouse that can sleep 10, quite the motorhome. This motorhome is a Class C motorhome, which Class C's have the sleeping over the cab area that we're seeing here. The cab area on this is a Ford chassis on the Ford E450 with the V10 engine power plant on it. What I really love about motorhomes is your camping adventure really starts the moment you leave your house instead of the moment you get to your destination because when you drive the motorhome down the road, your loved ones and your camping friends are, are with you right there in the motorhome. You know, they might be in the back uh, at the table playing games, uh, making up some food, making up some drinks, just really just having a fun time while traveling, you can watch movies while going down the road. Just a, a really good experience. Uh, this is how I like to camp. And uh, I just think, it's just sometimes the best part about the vacation is not really the destination, but actually just getting there in the motorhome can be quite enjoyable. This motorhome does have a ladder to get up onto the roof. This is the Brilliant Blue Exterior HD Max Color, which is a colored fiberglass sidewall that's colored all the way through with the bluer graphics on it. This motorhome does have the full wall slide, as you can see here, it covers this entire side with an awning topper over the slide room. It has the three track slide mechanism on this slide out room. And it has a uh, generator, an Onan 4000 watt generator uh, to power everything electric in this anywhere. So you could be in Walmart's parking lot and run your microwave or your rooftop air conditioner and all that. It does have a hitch here as you can see, if you are looking to tow something, it has the appropriate wiring for your trailer, both the seven pin and the four pin from the factory. Now this hitch is rated at 8,000 pounds, uh, total weight or 500 pound ton weight there. So quite the towing capacity of this motorhome. But that V10 power uh, plant system, it's really gonna tow beautifully. I've towed before with this chassis and uh, the motorhome itself rides really nice with some weight in the back. So one thing I enjoy about Class C motorhomes is you can get in and out of the cab really easily. There's actually three doors of this motorhome. The passenger door we see here, the driver's door on the other side, and the main entrance will go in now. Again, this is a 2020. I love the chateaus. They build them in such a way you don't need the power step. The steps are built into the motorhome. And as we come in here, there's a couple switches, light switches here. Uh, awning switch and step light switch a main battery disconnect which i really appreciate you can just turn this off and every light in this thing will turn off to save your battery when storage and this is powered uh or this comes equipped prepped with the go power a solar controller uh there's actually a solar hookup on the roof where you can plug in uh the appropriate solar panel there if you're looking to do more dry camping the other side of the step well here's a little storage area and let's check out the inside I want to point out there's little to no carpet in this, so it's going to be really easy to clean and keep clean. And I'll just kind of pan around the front, and then we'll pan around the back. And I can hear the heating air conditioning control beeping, so I'm going to shut that off. So we don't have to... Oh, it shut itself off. Okay. All right. So let's start up here in the cab. So again, Class C is the cab over sleeping, which is what we see here. Now this cushion here is going to pull out and it's hard to do with one hand but that's going to pull out and fill this void right here what i have in now is the cab accessible mode so i can get down into the passenger driver's seat really easy because this cutout's not there now it has a nice uh, 40 inch television that swings around right and then this is a double size bed up here has good lighting even the window up here and it also has your uh great whole class c fan up there that's going to really provide a, a lot of nice fresh air to this motorhome the driving compartment in this you know it's very similar to what your automobile would be you have your driver passenger seat your steering wheel on the steering wheel here is ford steering wheel you can have uh or it does have your uh cruise control there uh, power windows and power locks right there these uh, mirrors on this are uh, powered and heated as well. You control that right here. 
and the mirrors themselves have cameras built into them so when you turn on your turn signal whether left or right it's going to pop on that uh, appropriate camera so you can see what's beside you and your potential blind spot heating and air conditioning controls down here this is for the cab and then a nice uh, touch screen radio with a uh, That'll be also where your rear view monitor and those side view monitors images show up. The kitchen area is all in this slide room. It starts with your dinette table here. It does come down for extra sleeping. So you can sleep up to 10 people in this motorhome. Really a fun, fun thing for the whole family. Uh, the table itself goes down. It's on the dream dinette. So you just simply pull the lever down there and it's going to push down. The cushions will then fold flat and make for a nice sleeping area. I like that the table has built-in uh, beverage holders there. It's nice, you know, that your can of pop doesn't spill uh, when you hit a bump uh, while traveling down the road. The wood color in this is the Brazilian cherry. Hard uh, wood doors and drawer faces. Uh, they have the nice props up here to keep the door open and uh, just a nice uh, w nicely crafted uh, cabinetry work in this. Uh, the 31E is going to come with a solid surface LG rock light countertop that allows for this sunk down end uh, single basin sink is what they've gone to for this year which I appreciate the single basin uh, because you can fit your big pots in there where the split basin is not big enough for those bigger pots. Uh, back here it's got a pop-up electric panel has three electrical outlets and two USB outlets. And it's kind of there if you need it, not there if you don't. So it's great for the, you know, maybe your uh, crock pot cooking down the road or coffee maker. Uh, this is really nice. So it has an induction cooktop here and also has two pr traditional gas uh, burners there. Uh, up here, this is your convection or your halftime oven. Uh, nice big. And that's going to be your oven and your microwave. And then below the uh the range there you have two giant drawers for your pans which can always be a hard thing to find so that's a nice space saver there and then across from the uh the kitchen uh, uh stove there is your refrigerator and this will complete your kitchen area this will have your freezer up here and your refrigerator down here this is a dual mode refrigerator so you do not have to have your dinner runner generator running for this to work and a nice pantry beside the refrigerator for your, your box and your canned goods. So couches right here, that's going to come out for extra sleeping as well. You notice a couple seat belts in that as well. Beverage holders behind, two of them, and good viewing of the TV. Now, the TV's on a swing arm now, so you're going to be able to watch it as it swings, uh, swings out a lot easier. All right. Uh, bunk room is going to be right here. Two bunks, uh, really nice thick mattresses on this. I'd say four or five inches thick there. So it's going to be a comfortable sleeping area. Both have televisions built in with DVD players. And both have uh, the windows and LED light. You see this one's got the window shade down for privacy. And I like this little storage area here, phones and things of that sort. All right, back up just a tad. We'll go into the bathroom. This bathroom is all on one. The door itself's got a couple hooks there for your towels, and uh, has a little storage above the stool here. Another hook on the wall for a towel. Your stool's a foot flush. A lot of floor room here to get ready uh, for the day, or to put your pajamas on at night. Shower has a glass surround with the skylight in it. Nice stand-up shower. And then your sink's over here with hot and cold water and medicine, mirrored medicine cabinet above for your toothbrushes. That door goes directly into the, uh, the master bedroom, but we're going to go the main way through. Master bedroom has a pocket sliding door to separate it off right here. And it'll feature a queen bed. Now this bed can be used when traveling down the road. It doesn't fold in half or anything like that, as a lot of floor plans do. Your, set, your second attic fan is up here. So I do the first one and over the bunk. Has nightstands on both sides of the bed with power, USB on this side, an old school cigarette lighter there. Cabinets above the bed allow for a lot of nice extra storage. But across from the bed here, we have good viewing of the factory television. 32 inch 
has this nice little get ready area. You can easily sit on the edge of the bed and get ready here. A little cabinet countertop. Three set three drawers here. Four over here. These are full depth drawers, so you're gonna be able to get to the back of them. They're decently deep. And then two mirrored uh, cabinets here that have uh, where you would hang your clothes up. So this is the Chateau 31E. If you're thinking about an RV, I always say think about a motorhome because the adventure. I tell you what, I've done them both, both pullables and motorhomes. The adventure really starts when you leave the house. So if you have any more questions or want more information, I'm going to post links below. Uh, on those links, you'll find our current inventory of the 31Es, also pricing, pictures, specifics, tank sizes, and that kind of stuff. Also, if you're looking to finance, we do that. Uh, we have an in-house finance team here that's been rated the best in the nation. Uh, so check out that. Uh, we can get really competitive rates and terms, which equates to you a, a very affordable payment. Sometimes I've had customers tell me um, I can kind of believe that the payment could be so affordable on an RV like what I bought so I uh, check that out and uh, with that I'm signing out thanks for watching everyone